passport, nope. Medicine, nope. Priceless heirlooms, nope. Aha! My lucky can. Hey guys, Cianic the YouTuber. And for this video, I'm going to talk about something a bit more serious. And I'd like to do this in one take without altering any of the footage. No cutting, not, none of that. I'm just keeping everything real and genuine. Because this is really important. You know, I want to talk about it because I've never brought it up on the channel. And this is about Ezworld and the legacy that it left behind. It still continues to inspire millions of people. Many fans were very heartbroken, and understandably so, when on March 25th, 2012, we lost Ed Gold. He was, a, he was one of the most talented artists, animators, and friends that the internet has known. This guy had zero haters, zero controversy, you know. And after he lost his six-year battle with cancer, it just hurt that much more because we had hope that he would get better, that he'd walk out of the hospital and continue to entertain us and give us more Ed's world. Go back to doing what he loves, to his passion. Work on the projects he wanted. There was just so much waiting for Ed that never never uh it just never happened never came to be and i just i have to give credit to tomska who despite all the grief and loss that this that his that ed's death left behind he continued to give us more ed's world he gave us ed's world legacy and though it might have been controversial especially when Tord was brought back without it, the actor's permission. You know, Tomska still inspired more fans. He helped charities raise more funds to help more children who were fighting cancer. And I just think that's very admirable you know and now the same thing is being done by matt he's continuing ed's world he's keeping it going for ed to continue this legacy that was left behind one that goes back to newgrounds and its early days you know it wasn't just Newgrounds. I discovered Ed's World back in 2008 on YouTube. Only later did I find out it was on Newgrounds as well. And it dates back even further. You know, even before Ed's World, Ed came a long way. He started with this series that I remember called Bendy Stickman. He was drawing stick figures like most of us. And Ed Gold's work really inspired me. And it continues to. Without Ed's world, the show that I'm working on right now would not have existed. I wouldn't have even had this passion for animation. I wouldn't love animation nearly as much. Because when I saw that first Ed's world episode, I realized, hey, I could do this. I don't need to go to any fancy animation school or have a company, you know, to work and make episodes, you know, produce them. I could do it all, all by myself, just independently. So that's when I created Adventure Lights, inspired by Ed's World. 
I still wanted to have its I still wanted the show to have its own unique identity. I didn't want it to just copy Ed's world, but the inspiration, you can tell the influence is there. It can be felt. And I just have to thank Ed and keep his memory alive. So thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed Gould. Thank you, Matt Hargreaves. And thank you, Thomas Ridgewell. And of course, thank you, Tord. Tord Larson, you're an OG. You were there since the beginning. And as much as, you know, I feel bad for all the harassment he had to deal with. But just know that I appreciate what all of you guys have done. You know, for the, ch for like, my childhood was amazing. Thank you so much. And as the saying goes, though Ed may be gone, his world will keep on spinning. So I'm raising a Coke in Ed's name. Thank you, Ed Gould. And happy Ed Day.